What's up? Welcome back to Thunder RC. Back out here with the mighty Red Cat Vigilante. It survived a gnarly beatdown yesterday against the X Max off the death ramp, and uh, still running strong. We're just gonna do some uh, light bashing with it today. <laughs> Lost a bushing and a screw in the front. Is it the front right hub? Yeah. Yep, I knew it. That'll kill that drivetrain every time. What happened? The brick wall. I thought it was either going to go up it or slam it. It didn't do it. All right, everybody. So I've got the Vigilante torn apart. That was quite a bash. And as you can see, a few parts are broken. The rear ring gear differential just exploded like shrapnel. Um, good news is <laughs> the planetaries inside are good. Didn't tear those up. Ripped the gasket off. I think this housing is still good. Um, the ring pinion here... Yeah, it's shot. Uh, a few other breaks that I noticed is the shock tower busted this off and uh, cracked that. So I'm going to need a new shock tower. The other break that I had, well, for one, the screws pulled out of the bulkhead here. Um, so that's a reason why the ring gear blew up. Part of the reason why. I do think we need some metal bulkheads for this Vigilante. Uh, just because this webbing is so thin in some of these areas. It would be nice to see some aftermarket company like Vitavon or GPM or somebody, even M2C, to jump on board and make some metal bulkheads for the Vigilante. Um, rest of the truck looks pretty good. The center diff held up fine. Uh, I do have some good news about the ring gears on the diff. Red Cat has graciously sent me some prototypes. This is supposed to be a harder steel, and uh, I'm going to be testing it out, y'all. And hopefully, we get some good success. But like I said, I've got to figure out a way to keep this diff cover from backing off. Uh, that's that's going to be an issue. So I'm going to figure that out. Would like to see billet, billet there. And uh, another qualm I have about this truck is that these holes here... They're not deep enough for the screws to really grab. And so I have screws backing out all the time and falling out of the truck. 
uh, the skid plates and everything are solid. I mean, I love this design and uh, this center skid plates beast, you know. The arms are pretty good. Well, I will be testing out some prototype arms as well, some stronger arms. So stay in tune for that. Uh, but the front ring gear still looks good after that bash, I guess because the screws didn't pull out. But overall, y'all, I'm very happy with the truck and excited to see what aftermarket companies and brands produce for this thing. It has a lot of potential to compete with the mighty X-Max up there. Yeah, so um, these are the brakes right now, and uh, Red Cat's working out the kinks. Like I said, they're working on some new stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Another part that keeps breaking on me are these rear shock towers. I keep snapping them right here where the screw goes in. Uh, I don't know a solid fix for that. I think that these need to be billet as well. It would be really cool to see some billet parts on this truck. Um, it's so light as it is, I don't think the weight would affect it at all. And it needs a chassis brace. I know it has a top brace, but we need a bash bar for the bottom of this truck just to help keep things together. One of the weak points is where the bulkheads attach to the chassis. It's only a few screws and uh, we need something metal to come across here and brace either the front bulkhead and the rear bulkhead. That would be awesome. 